So I'm just going to take you through some alternatives to creating a custom master page. So previously, you know, we were going to SharePoint Designer and we would copy the Seattle master page um, and then make our changes to the copy. So in that copy, we'll add JavaScript, CSS to make our customizations, you know, make our uh, responsive designs. But uh, the only problem you have with that is when Microsoft come and they release an update for the Seattle master page, your copy of that master page doesn't get those updates. So luckily there is uh, another alternative way of doing it, which will enable you to use the out of the box Seattle master page but still customize it just as much as when we had a custom master page. So what we can do is we can uh, use a Seattle master page but then we can add some alternative CSS to apply the styling to the site and also inject some JavaScript using custom actions uh, to add that extra functionality and also to add some extra HTML to the page if we need to. So um, the first and easiest way to do that is just using a CSS file. So you would use CSS for your custom master page anyway, but you can be a bit more creative with it. And that's usually stored inside the style library. I've got um, mine inside this folder here, uh, design CSS. So this is the location um, of that CSS file. So to apply that to your page, so I've already applied it to this page, you go to site settings, and master page. So you only get this option if it's a publishing site. So if you've got the publishing feature enabled, um, but you can also do it via PowerShell uh, using CSUM um, if you needed to on a different site. So at the bottom here, I've got user Seattle master page and under alternative CSS, I've specified uh, my custom CSS file just to add this very simple branding across the top, the, the blue ribbon with the logo. So that's very easy to add that uh, custom CSS uh, to the site. But usually custom CSS isn't enough. Uh, if you're trying to create a responsive design, you usually need a, a placeholder for your responsive menu. You might want to apply some JavaScript animations to that menu to make it a bit smoother on the mobile experience. Um, and you might add you know, other customizations and you might make use of jQuery and other JavaScript libraries. So to do that is a bit more complicated, but it's still fairly you know, straightforward. We can't do it inside the, the GUI. We can do it um, via PowerShell using CSUM, or you could do it via C Sharp in Visual Studio if you wanted to. I'm not a developer, so I'm just going to show you the PowerShell way of doing that. So first of all, you need to make sure that you've got a JavaScript file ready. So I've just put mine inside the style library the display templates actually. Let's test one here. So if we have a, a quick look at um, file. So very, very simple JavaScript example. I'm literally just going to add this text just before the body container. So um, it's very simple. We first of all, we just check if minimal download strategy is on there and try and handle the uh, minimal download strategy, which can be a bit of a pain when you're trying to apply JavaScript to the page. And then when the page is fully loaded, I'm not using any jQuery or anything here, just pure JavaScript. So I'm going to create a div and the uh, HTML inside that div is just going to be my mobile menu container, the text. And then we're going to look for a child container and we just go insert this before that container. So we're literally just put in the text just above uh, this bar here with the Cloud Design Box logo. That's, you know, could be my container for my mobile menu. It could be a link to some uh, jQuery or JavaScript, you know, to add some effects to the site. It could be something, you know, like a responsive background slideshow, you know, it could be anything. Um, so anything that we could do before on the custom master page uh, using JavaScript, we can do on the standard master page uh, without having to edit the master page itself. So to actually apply that ML uh, that we've got in here, uh, test.js, First of all, you need to know whereabouts that is stored inside the uh, inside the structure. So I'll just bring across this code here. So the bit you're going to be looking at is this bit here to add the custom uh, JavaScript. So it's very, very straightforward, really. Um, what we do is we call the site using uh, the client object model. And once we've loaded that site object, we uh, get the custom uh, user custom actions and we add a new one. 
So I'll save that as a variable. I put in the uh, parameters for that. So location is a script link. Um, also, whereabouts does that script link go to? Well, I put in this uh, to the local site collection first, and then I put the path to the JavaScript file. And then you can put the sequence that you want that to run in. I'm just going to put that to a thousand, so it's near the end. And then we update that and action that on the site. So you can do this just from your own machine. Um, so I've connected up here. I've got my URL. I put in my credentials. Um, if you need to, you can also lo load in some DLLs, so you can do a bit more with the client object model. Um, once that's loaded, then I run that code. So I've already uh, connected to the site, so I'm just going to run this section of the code. So I'm just going to paste that in there. So very quick to run. So if we go back to that page and press Control F5, So it pops in just after the page is loaded and that JavaScript fires off. We've got my mobile container here and this could be your mobile container that then you're going to style and brand. So again, if you want to see what custom actions you've got, you can add multiple custom actions to the site. Um, you can loop through and delete them all. You can loop through and test which is which if you wanted to. And that should delete them that way. And we can also see a list of all the um, custom actions already applied to that site. So if I just quickly run that and show you that the um, change has been applied, we can see that there's one entry in here, it's not got a description or group, it's got an ID, that good there. And we can see the, the script link is going to our test file, so that's applying to this site. So you might use this you know, for cross-site navigation, it could be used for all sorts really. Um, just that customization that you just can't quite do in CSS. You need to actually put some HTML on the page. You can do it just using, you know, DOM manipulation inside the JavaScript file. So if I want to, to just remove that, I haven't got any other custom actions on this page, so I'm just going to loop through and delete all of them. Okay, so action deleted. So if I, again, refresh this page, we can see that the container, my mobile menu, has disappeared. So that's another way of... Um, editing the SharePoint look and feel without using any custom master page at all so you're fully supported users get all those latest updates that Microsoft might release for the master page and um, you still might have to update your CSS and your JavaScript to take into effect those changes you know the the DOM structure might change so your JavaScript might have to change or the classes might change so your CSS has to update etc so there's still a bit of work to do you know to keep it updated and keep it maintained but a lot easier um, than having to create the whole master page again each time and also you know when you get in the latest updates you get them applied automatically so this is ideal for SharePoint 2013 um, but also SharePoint Online is where it becomes uh, really crucial that you start to follow these practices and move away from the custom master pages because you'll see that you know this this bar at the top, the, the waffle menu, has uh, recently changed, been restyled. Also, you before we had that menu, there used to be links across the top. And I have seen in some tendencies, they still have those links across the top because they used a custom master page. So that latest master page change hasn't applied to their site and they're still seeing uh, the old navigation.